Hey guys, so today we're going to be breaking down what we know of Majin Buu and Hercule Assist. And then of course we have the full kit available for Legends Limited Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what they say about Hercule and Buu. Obviously tomorrow we're going to be able to see the full kit that they have. But for now we're just relegated uh, to what they tell us in uh, the reveal here on, on the on the like the, 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 the premiere on YouTube. So they are yellow. Majin Buu Saga. I have Majin Buu Saga pulled up. I mean, honestly, this character's pretty good. The free 18. She's a pretty decent character, even though she's free. Uh, definitely Ultra Super Vegito and Ultra Kid Buu are not quite good enough to be ran in like any semi-competitive environment. So sure, yellow is not the worst typing here. Regen and Absorb. So they're literally only in Rie because Hercule has no teams. And then Boo is not the powerful opponent version, so he's just going to be on regen, yeah. They're support type. They buff Boo Saga and regen. Okay, let's keep going here. Buff allies with the excellent support abilities. So the unique abilities, buff damage inflicted by allies until this character is defeated. If owner remaining health is at a certain percentage or below when hit by an enemy's arts attack while this character is on the battlefield. That seems pretty specific. I mean, we'll have to wait and see what it actually looks like. Shortens own sub count when this character is switched to standby. Okay, so they inherently have a lower than 10 sub count. Also boosts the damage inflicted by allied tag Boo Saga or Regen. Okay, that doesn't, doesn't really tell us much. And applies attribute upgrade. Shortens substitution count to self only once when this character uses a strike or a blast arts card. Okay, so it sounds like they're a character that has multiple ways to manipulate their own sub counts, which will be good depending on if they have like a cover change that like destroys cards and stuff like that, like disrupt. Uh, all right, and then the last slide we have. This goes on for a while here. Use tricky abilities to toy with your opponent. Special move arts. This is the blue card. Obscures all enemy cards on hit. Okay, uh, <laughs> definitely. It doesn't say how long. Uh, and then the, they do have an ultimate inflicts enemy with force switching. Okay, uh, so they don't really, they don't really give us much to go off of for this character. So I can't even really formulate an opinion here. Just basically that they're a support yellow regen Boo Saga character. Sure, not really much I could say about that. Uh, okay, and then we have the full kit for Super Saiyan Three Go Tanks. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what they say here. Unleash a flurry of blows right from the start of battle. So it sounds like he's an offensive character. Legends Limited Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks joins the fight. Strengths. Number one, overwhelming early game power. For 100 timer counts from the battle start, increases card draw speed by a total of two levels. And when combined with the boost from entering the battlefield, increases damage inflicted by up to 270%. Uh, that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. <laughs> You guys want me to be brutally, brutally honest with you guys. That is not as much as it sounds like. That's not all because unfavorable element factors for damage inflicted as well as attribute downgrades and normal conditions will also be... Okay, that's good. This is important. The fact that he can do type neutral damage to Turles is very, very important. Gotenks is absurdly strong at finishing battles quickly. This is the type of character we needed right now. I think I made a comment about this. I don't remember which video it was, but it might have been the God Rank video I put up yesterday. We are in position to where we could definitely use a monster offensive character very akin to LF Super 17. We were in a very similar position meta-wise at the end of Legends Fest to where we are right now, where most matches are going to timer and it is just very tough to close out fights. And so Super 17 came in and he closed out fights. Yeah, that was his job. So I think this Gotenks, if he has a similar role to Super 17 when he, and he, when he dropped, I think this could be a pretty good release actually. We'll see what they do here. Offensive abilities useful in the mid game and beyond. Gotenks has a unique gauge that charges every time this character uses an arts. Get a permanent boost to damage inflicted and draw a card when you charge it fully. So it's not just at the start. This character is a powerful offensive force even to the end stages of battle. Okay. Make the most of vanishing step. Activating strike and blast arts will restore the vanishing gauge by 10% and using a special arts will restore it by 60%. Okay. 
It'll be easy to evade your opponent's assault with vanishing steps. Performing a vanishing step lets you draw a special art, so you use those special arts proactively. So you vanish, and then you draw a green card that gives you 60% vanish back. Okay. Uh, just going to be something you're going to have to remember, even when fighting him, just that he's, he's going to have vanish back almost every time. Like the first time he vanishes, it sounds like. Uh, and then number four, support allies. Oh, yeah, support. That's okay. That's pretty good. When Gotenks returns to standby with a fully unique gauge, support allies by restoring their health and key, as well as drawing a card. Gotenks even has an endurance effect. Oh, okay. So be ready to switch this character in when allies are in a pinch. The one and only Grim Reaper of Justice Legends Unlimited Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is here to dominate the battlefield right from the battle start. Uh, so he is red. Now, other than Super 17, they don't really have a fantastic track record with red characters this year. <laughs> we could take a quick look here. Red, huh? Let's see. So who was the first character released this year? Uh, we go back up here. So here, here's where the year starts. Super 17, really good, incredible character. He was insane on release. This is the only good red this year. Super Vegeta. Free to play Raditz, who was like one of the worst free to play characters ever. Uh, Supreme Kai was like, okay. I, I, th I think he was a pretty solid 1% sparking. Nothing really, you know, insane. Uh, Broly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Goku and Piccolo. Y y yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kakao was like, okay, but I, I just think the, the, they fumbled the entire Turtles Crusher core. Like, the, the entire, the, all four of these guys are worthless. Um, so yeah, Red is uh, definitely not in a great spot here. Like, you, you go Super Vegeta and Broly in the same year. I mean, that is, that is terrible. That is terrible. They did horrible with those characters. So I'm a little bit nervous just going off of the fact uh, that they fumbled two LF red characters this year. Uh, one of them was good though, Super 17, so we'll see. Uh, he's on Hybrid Saiyans Kids, which potentially could be good considering we're about to get a bunch of Daima stuff. And it is confirmed now that Daima characters will be on the kids tag. Daima Goku is on kids. Uh, Fusion Warrior and uh, Majin Buu Saga are his teams. So we'll see. Z ability. So let's just look at the 14 star one. Hybrid Saiyan, Boo Saga, or Fusion Warrior Stripe. Double defense. Dude, Hybrid Saiyans and their double defense the abilities. 18% to Boo Saga base blast attack. Okay. So is he more of a blast attacker? Do they even tell us? Like, hold on. Let me just see. They should tell us the typing of the character here because they don't tell us in the breakdown there. He has ranged. Ranged, you say? Let's look at Boo Saga here. Um, so ranged does fit the existing Boo Saga team. Obviously, Ultimate Gohan is a ranged character. Uh, e Evil Boo is more of a ranged character than a strike character. Zankai Kid Boo is a ranged character. So that does fit the existing Boo Saga team. Uh, and also, um, you know, if you really want to try and use, and I'm not a huge fan of this character, this character, in my opinion, was just, they're an 0 for 3. They're, they're a legendary release in that they're 0 for 3. <laughs> Bad on release, bad when they got their unique equipment, and bad when they got their Zenkai Awakening, unfortunately. So, I mean, this character is also ranged. So it really is just like fusing Super Vegito, who's almost just like the odd one out on this this team at this point, Boo Saga, because uh, they're, they're strike. And then that looks like Gotenks is also going to be ranged here. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, restore a vanishing gauge on activation. Impact restores vanishing gauge by 10% upon activation. Uh, he does not have blast armor, which is uh, definitely a big downside at this point. Even blast characters, like, I mean, Ultimate Gohan is a ranged character. He has blast armor. So it's not like we're looking at ranged based characters and automatically assuming that, that they can't have blast armor, that they shouldn't have blast armor. The fact that this Gotenks does not have blast armor, I think is a pretty big downside because it just opens this character up to being uh, quick attack blasted like every time. That's one of the big weaknesses that even like Kid Buu has. The Zenkai Kid Buu, um, the fact that he doesn't, have, I mean, he's an older character, which is why he doesn't have blast armor because they don't give Zenkai characters blast armor that doesn't already have that, have blast armor. Um, but one of the weaknesses of this Kid Buu is that he's very easy to initiate against because he doesn't have blast armor. So that is a weakness uh, for this Gotenks al already here. Uh, but this is interesting. 10% to uh, Vanish Engage and also on the Blast card as well. Okay. Blue card is uh, 
Let's see. Nullify unfavorable element factors on activation. Okay, that's good. Sounds like it's offense. Plus, landing this special move has a chance to a chance to restore, or sorry, a chance to reduce your opponent's Dragon Balls and inflict faint. Uh, so, <laughs> I actually think I made a tweet about this today where I said, I think one of the biggest problems in the game right now is how much Dragon Ball destruction there is because every single match is going to timer. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that you just can't rush, right? I mean, a lot, a lot of what happens is you're fighting characters like Tree of Might Goku, like Turles, who are just destroying your Dragon Balls repeatedly. And it just becomes a drag to get the Rising Rush. And what ends up happening is if these matches are going to timer a lot of the time, and you're only able to farm up one Rising Rush in the match. So like, you know, player A and player B both are fighting each other and they're both only able to Rising Rush one time. What that does is it places a lot more importance on who's able to guess the opponent's Rising Rush. If you get your rush, get your rush guessed in a match that goes to timer, your chances of winning are, are, are almost zero, <laughs> right? So that's why I think that's a major issue right now. And so we, we just have so many characters that have Dragon Ball destruction, and it looks like we're even getting more here with uh, Gotenks. Uh, let's see here. So it deals massive impact damage, nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 10 counts. Is this a range blue? Let me actually just go back to the, the video here because they, they should play a clip. So we should be able to see if it's a, a range blue or not. Let's see. All right, I believe this is his cover change animation. No, it is melee. Okay, hold on. Wait, does this, does this say blast armor? Oh yeah, okay, never mind. I didn't even read that it said it has blast armor, okay. Uh, applies the following effects to enemy on hit. 60% chance to reduce Dragon Balls by one. That is not limited to once only, or twice only. 20% chance to inflict faint. <laughs> Uh, do you guys think it's going to be bugged? If you guys were playing when the original yellow Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks released, let me actually pull this up because this is like a legendary moment in Dragon Ball Legends history. When ye yellow Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks was legitimately bugged for like four months straight. <laughs> they didn't fi they didn't fix this bug for like four months. Uh, so here's what his ultimate used to do. So when you, when you had a full team alive, you had a 75% chance to inflict faint. This was 100%. It was 100% chance, and they didn't fix this for like four months. So Code Tanks just had a 100% chance to faint for like four months. They didn't fix it forever. Um, so I wonder if is this going to be bugged too? <laughs> that would be kind of funny if it was. Uh, if Unique Gauge is full, 40% to damage for three counts. Is Blast Armor only when the Gauge is full? That can't be, right? There's no chance. There, I mean, I, I don't know if it's... Because whenever it says Blast Armor on the blue cards, like, it's always the last thing written in the description. I, I would imagine that this is not tied to the Unique Gauge being full. That would be kind of insane. A tw an October 2024 LF character that needs to have a full unique gauge to have blast armor on a melee blue card that there's no chance that's tied to unique gauge being full i think it's just written at the bottom here all right the green card restores your vanishing gauge and destroys three three of your opponent's strike arts okay interesting uh this can sort of act as like a pseudo seal kind of like daima goku's green card uh also like the Goku and Frieza, on the Frieza side, Frieza would seal the opponent's uh, strike cards when he uses a green. So what this does is it makes it a lot easier for you to just tackle from mid-range if you know your opponent has like no strikes in their hand. If the unique gauge is full, you'll even nullify enemy special cover changes. Okay. Draws one card, 50 key. Restores van this is not timed either. I mean, this is not uh, limited to a certain number of times. 60% vanish and gauge restoration, huh? Yeah, that's strong. 60% um, on a stop time green card. 100% to own unique gauge charge rate for 10 counts. Choice three of your, yeah, this is a strong green card. This is this is a very strong green card. If unique gauge is full, 30% damage and then cover null for five counts. This is a little short, so I'm thinking there's other ways this guy can get cover null. Yeah, if you, if you pop this with the unique gauge full, this is a very good green. Uh, ultimate destroys your entire hand on activation and activates different effects based on the cards that were destroyed. Huh. Interesting. 
Uh, I'm trying to think if there was another character that did something like this. I don't know if there is. Uh, characters like Super Vegito, like LF Super Vegito, the first year anniversary one, he would gain different effects depending on what type of card you draw, but not like when you destroy them. This might be the first, I, unless I'm just forget. There, there might be, I don't remember every single character's kit, but this doesn't sound like it exists in the game right now. Deals massive impact damage. Uh, so they didn't give him Supreme here, okay. 30% ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts upon activation. 30% is a little low. Destroys all of your own cards upon activation. Applies the following effects to self based in the types of arts cards destroyed. Strike arts cards, 50% of strike damage inflicted for 10 counts. Remember, this is going to factor into the damage of the ultimate. Blast card, 50% uh, of blast damage. So these can't be stacked also, which means if you destroy, for example, two strikes, you're not going to be getting 100% strike damage. It's going to be one. So. Uh, this is weird. I guess you kind of want to you want to use the ultimate when you have like the most diverse hand, I guess, which is a little weird. Special move arts 50%. Okay, you want this. Yeah, you want that. Special arts is 50% to critical rate. Hmm. You might actually want this. The ideal hand for this. I'm thinking strike one strike one blue card and one green card so the ideal hand would be ultimate blue card green card strike card you'd be getting 50 percent to enemy sustained damage cut penetration 50 percent critical rate and 50 percent strike damage plus this yeah that is really strong it's not always going to be perfect, though. So there's going to be a lot of times probably where you're not going to be able to get most of these. Like, I, I imagine there's going to be many times where you're going to have three strikes and you're just going to be getting one instance of this. But this is still pretty interesting. I, I do like this. Something different. Uh, randomly draws four new cards on hit. OK, so you're actually refilling your hand after this. And then, of course, it is blast armor. Uh, main ability nullifies own unfavorable omen factors and enemy endurance effects for 10 timer counts. Ooh, he has endurance null on main. That's not really that good right now. I'm trying to think like what what characters that are meta relevant have endurance, but like nothing else like endurance without buff buff uh, removal and stuff like that. Ultimate like let's let's go back to the character list here. Ultimate Gohan, of course. Uh, let, let's just let's talk about meta characters. Come back, so it doesn't work. Come back, so it doesn't work. I've started to see some Ultra Gohans floating around. This would work on Ultra Gohan. This would. So he Ultra Gohan could get affected by that. Um, who else? Let's see. This guy doesn't have endurance. Garlic Jr., you don't see him. Omega Shenron has indestructible. Broly, you don't see him. This guy doesn't have endurance. Ultimate Gohan removes buffs. Yeah, I mean, you don't see God Goku either. So like a lot of the characters that have just like normal endurance without having any other effects on top of them, you just don't see them ran right now. So I don't really think this, like this this sounds powerful. Like you just nullify it. This is the same thing that, that uh, Zenkai Fusion Zamasu has, the, the red LF Fusion Zamasu. But it, it, it's not really that powerful right now. Randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws another card, charging ultra. Okay, so it destroys one of your own cards, which is good. I like that. Randomly draws up most three new cards. Oh, okay. This is really good because it synergizes, of course, with you being able to destroy your hand. So he's going to draw a full hand off of this. And then you're just going to destroy this whole hand and then draw another full hand. <laughs> Would be kind of interesting if this guy had like buffs for drawing cards, like, like Angel Golden Frieza did back in the day. Randomly draws up most three new cards, restores on health by 30% and key by 50, charge unique cage by 100%. Okay. That's good. Um, and then nullifies endurance for 10 counts, and then offensively type neutral for 10 counts, which of course is going to affect the ultimate, but uh, it's not going to work. You have to, I guess, you're going to have to be aware of Tree of Might Goku. If the opponent has Tree of Might Goku, remember this is going to get removed because this is cancelable. So if you're using the main ability and then like, let's say you want to ult a blue character like Turles with this, th this is going to be, I, I guarantee you, this is going to be a very common thing. 
Tree of Might, Goku, and Turles are are gonna be in every match. They are right now. Um, if you're using this Gotenks, you have to be aware of, did you already use Tree of Might Goku's buff removal? Because if you didn't, you're not going to be able to go type neutral with your ultimate against Turles because this is cancelable and it's going to get cancelled by Tree of Might Goku. So, you're going to have to use a different character's ultimate first, whether it's going to be like Evil Boo or something like that. That's probably what you're going to have to do first. Alright, unique ability number one. Uh, for 100 timer counts from Battle Start, get a total increase of two levels to Arts Card draw speed. That's pretty good. And um, minus 10 to all arts costs. Okay, so he's going to be comboing for a while. Unfavorable element factors for damage received, as well as attribute downgrades and normal conditions will be nullified as well. Plus, with the boost upon entering the battlefield, Gotenks can get up to a 270% increase in damage inflicted. Gotenks will nullify enemy special cover changes and destroy both strike and special move arts. So use this character to start up for... Oh, interesting. Okay. This character's special arts are quite powerful, so remember that you'll draw one when you perform a vanishing step. Yeah, I, I do actually really like this character's green card. I think it's very good. 100% to this, you're going to basically remove your opponent's ability to counter tackles, get your vanishing back, get your vanish back, draw a card, get key, and if your unique gauge is full, you're going to get cover and all and more damage. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a very good green card because there's no limitation on the vanish recovery. Uh, this is really good. Shorten on subcount by two is default. Remember, he has endurance. Applies the following effects to self and battle stars. 140% damage is a lot. Did we move up again? Who was the most recent LF? Most recent LF is Tree of Might. Does, he doesn't have 140% base. There's no way. Yeah, we're moving up again. Remember when this was 100% during like the anniversary? <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, hold on. Doesn't uh, fusing Vegito and Gogeta Blue have 100%? Yeah, look at this. Dude, we're just... It, this is insane. <laughs> Just moving up every release. Uh, but to be fair, this is needed. Again, we're in a super defensive meta here. So damage is good. 70% reduced damage received. Uh, hopefully this guy has like 10% damage reduction against specific types of damage as well. 70% key recovery, card draw speed, minus of the arts cost is good. Uh, applies the following effects itself from battle starts for 100 counts. 30% damage, card draw speed, minus 5 to arts cost, 20% health restoration, 50% to unique gauge charge rate. He's permanently type neutral defensively, well, permanently for 100 counts, and uh, nullifies attribute downgrades in normal conditions. This is good. So he can't get paralyzed, he can't get um, fainted. Nice. Yeah, go try and use Rage Shenron against this Gotenks. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield, restores own health by 15% and key by 30. 15% um, and key by 30. Is that every time? 15% health and 15% health every time he enters the battlefield. 15. That's like Super Baby 2, right? It has that similar thing. 100% damage. So that actually, this this is permanent. So he actually keeps 240% damage even after the 100 timer counts elapse. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Reduce impact, explode, and slice damage received by 10% for 10 counts. Yeah, every character has to have this now. Uh, applies buff effect, nullifies enemy special action. So he gets cover all for five counts. Destroys one enemy strike and special move arts card. Strike and special move. That would have been a lot better if it was special um, special arts card, like destroys a green card. If you can get the the card destruction like targeted on Tree of Might Goku's green card, that would have been so insane. Uh, this is still good though. You guarantee destroy, because what this does is if you switch into Gotenks, well, no, nah, it's not, no, it wouldn't matter. I was gonna, I was thinking like, if you switch into not nah, yeah, it doesn't I was thinking like okay if you switch into go tanks and then you uh, activate a cover change against like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or something Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta will still be able to combo off of that because he draws a blue card when he cover changes following effects occur when this character performs a vanishing step randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws a special move okay that's good three times huh wow destroys one of your enemy's strike arts cards Inflicts all enemies that attribute downgrade minus one arts card draw speed level when you vanish. Um, I don't really know if that's 
amazing? I mean, sure. I don't, I don't know why they decided. I don't, I, I'm not thinking about the scenario in my head where this would be like super useful. This is really good. That is the fact that it also destroys a card in your hand to draw that. That is very strong, very strong. All right, second unique ability has a special cover change against strikes. Okay. Uh, this guy is a cover change against strikes. This guy has one against blasts. They're against blasts. They're against blasts. Both are both, kind of. Okay. I can see it. Sure. Uh, Gotenks has a unique gauge that charges every time this character uses an art. Get a buff to damage inflicted when you charge it fully. If Gotenks returns to standby when it's full, it'll be, a it'll be consumed to support allies by restoring their health and key. Gotenks even has an endurance effect. Own sub counts will be shortened when Gotenks is on standby and the enemy uses an ultimate art or rising rush. Huh. Remember he's gotten? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because he has this too. That can pair up well with endurance, of course. So, cover change against strikes, combable with the blue card, charges on unique age every time. So it's just, just charges is the wording on this. Every time this character uses an arts card. Is it the same as Ultimate Gohan? Just just says charges. Let me just check. Ultimate Gohan says. Um I don't even know. Yeah, charges. So it should fill up about the same speed as Ultimate Gohan's, which is pretty fast. I mean, what is that, like four cards about to charge it up fully? Uh so. He's also getting this. That's pretty. So it's going to be three cards instead of four. I'm trying to think about this in my head. He has this and then he also has this, right? If you pop the green card, I mean, a hundred percent charge rate and then you can stack that on this. 50%. So. Theoretically, I would imagine you could probably fill it up in like one card. <laughs> it's possible, I think. Or at, the, at most, two cards. Uh, falling effects occur once you need gauges full. Randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. Destroys own key by... Or destroys own key. Restores own key by 50. 20% 20 damage. Oh, I was going to say this this stacks. No, no chance this stacks, but okay, yeah, it resets. 10% damage up to five times. Huh. Hmm. He's getting up there in damage now. 140. 30, 100, that's 270, 290, 340, what is this, applies attribute upgrade, minus 4% to enemy sustained damage cut effects to allies, huh, seals enemy strike and special move arts, but he already destroys them, How long is the seal for? Five counts? I, like, I, I don't think this is going to be that hard to get. He's entering the battlefield with Covernal, right? Five counts of it. Where is it? Uh, here. Okay. So he's giving... Assuming you have, I, again, I don't think it's going to be that difficult to just repeatedly activate the gauge. Remember, he's drawing a card. He, he already has double card draw speed. Now, granted, there are a lot of characters now that do debuff card draw speed. So it's not like he's always going to have double card draw speed. So this actually could help a lot. Uh, minus 4% enemy sustained damage cut to allies for five times. So he could be giving 20% sustained damage cut support to the team. Remember, on his ultimate, he can get this too. So he can get up to 
penetration on his ultimate if you have the full buff up from this. If only need gauge is full when this character is switched to standby, it re- Oh, I see. It doesn't reset, like, when he's switched in. Okay, it- Oh, I see, I see, I see. I, I was- <laughs> I was like, this sounds a little bit crazy. 50 key every time he fills the gauge up? This doesn't sound very balanced. <laughs> Um, okay, th this this makes a little bit more sense to me. It's you can't fill this up like five times in one switch in. You fill it up once, you switch out, and then the gauge resets itself. I see how it works. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense because the um, what the 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 blue and the green card have effects depending on if you have a full unique gauge or not. I get it. Okay, that makes more sense now. Uh, resets to zero and the falling effects occur. Randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. 50% to uh, to own next arts damage inflicted. Not expended on miss. Has they, have they ever had that wording on anything? I've never seen this wording before. Not expended on miss. Cannot be stacked, cannot be canceled. Restores ally health by 10% and key by 50. This is strong. Y you guys want to know one of the reasons why Turles does so much damage after his comeback? Obviously, he gets damage inflicted, but I think a lot of the damage is coming from this. This is a separate calculation. 20% to strike and blast arts, da arts damage inflicted. All right? This is not just damage inflicted. This is arts damage inflicted it's it's different this guy's getting 50 percent to the next one dude this guy's entering the battlefield with like 330 percent damage first i'll have yeah and then he's healing and giving key and he's giving a card all right uh the falling effects occur when own health reaches zero so I don't know if it reaches zero. That's just an is it has it always been worded like that? When own health reaches zero? Is it am I crazy? Has it always been worded like that? Let me just check this for a second. Reaches zero? I don't remember it being worded that way. Um Let's see. Oh yeah, because I'm so used to it saying restores health by 30% only once. It does say when it reaches zero, okay. 30% health, so he gives <laughs> he gives 30% damage support to the team when he has his endurance activated. Shorten's own sub count by three when enemy activates a special move, ultimate arts, awaken arts, or rising rush. All this character's on standby. So this guy doesn't have like buff removal or anything like that. So he's gonna have eight sub counts by default, because it's, it's 10 minus two. And then he's gonna reduce his own sub counts by three. So, if you have a character that re reduces ally sub count by five, that reduces ally sub count by five, that hold on, let me go back. That reduces ally sub count by five. That reduces ally sub count by five. When they activate a rising rush, you could basically swap this guy in whenever you want. Uh. I like it. This guy looks really good. Let's just... So the maximum possible damage you can have with Gotenks from just his unique abilities. 140, 170, 270. 290, uh, 340, 370, and then this, and this, and this. Huh. And, uh, and this. Yeah, this guy's gonna be doing a lot of damage. That's good. We needed this. Uh, the fact that he can also go type neutral offensively is also very good. I actually do, I actually think this guy's gonna be really good. I, I do. I don't always come out of these breakdowns thinking like, okay, this guy's gonna actually make a big impact. This guy really can. 
Uh, he's not just going to be a, a like, dude, compare, compare this character's kit to Broly. There is no comparison. What were they doing with Broly? <laughs> come, come, come on. There's no way they were thinking at all with Broly. This is how you make an offensive character, because he also still has 70% damage reduction plus the 10%. He's got endurance. He's got the um, he's got the disrupt. He's got the ceiling. Uh, yeah, he, he seems uh, pretty good to me. He's healing the team. Uh, he's got support. I, I like him. He seems pretty good. Uh, this is going to be a very good character. In terms of teams, that might be the only thing. Like, is it just Boo Saga that he's on? Uh, hybrid Saiyans. Ah. Red actually is a good color for hybrids right now, especially ranged, right? If we go to Hybrid Saiyans here, like you're just going to run Ultra Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, and then Gotenks. That's actually a really good trio. It's three endurance characters. One of them has uh, uncancelable endurance. Gotenks is supporting. They're all blast oriented. Hybrids could be a real team here. Like this is a monster addition to hybrids. Uh, and then I think that's it, right? Those are his teams. Hybrid Saiyans and Majin Buu Saga. Am I missing anything? Uh, I mean, kid, f oh, Fusion Warriors. But Fusion Warriors is not ever going to be Blast, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of Gotenks. He seems to be pretty damn good. Uh, I would still say it's most definitely not worth summoning. It, it'll be interesting if they put Ultimate Gohan on his banner. I, I would have to think about it if I would recommend for people to summon, if that's the case. Ultimate Gohan on this banner would actually be pretty compelling, but we'll see. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.